You are most welcome to the next lecture. You remember, we talked about practical things of seeds to show to the child that it is either the same or different. By sorting, we sorted by characteristic. Now we have come down to teach the concept same and different. Now, I, as I told you earlier, once you have done these three dimensional things, practical things, you now come down to paper. That's where we are going to braille. Pre-braille reading exercises on braille paper. You need to produce all the concepts and pre-braille skills to prepare the child with visual impairment in the classroom can be transferred to the paper. You remember even the seeds were transferred to the paper so that the child is able to follow them on paper because braille is written on paper. This will not focus on the braille dots. The focus is not uh, on braille dots, but we can follow the procedure below in our own classrooms. When braille paper, you know, the, the, the dots are now on the, on, the, on, the, on the braille paper. Start with the big differences. You know the braille dots. You don't tell the child that these are braille dots and so on. But you give the symbol. For example, all the six dots, all the six dots, you match it with the single dot. Can the child be able to tell this one is different from this one? Are we there? All the six dots with only one dot in any part of the cell. Is the child able to tell the difference? Yes. Because the other six dots, you can fill them. They are all filled. But while the other one is only in one area, part of the the, the thumb. Then you go to all the six dots with the dots one, two, three, interchangingly, so that you do a lot of exercises so that the child sees when dot one, uh, the, the, uh, in one cell there is only one dot or two cell, the dots or three or four or five, you compare it with the six. Are they different? Oh, they are the same. You see that concept is now coming in. Keep reducing the differences, meaning that you are now bringing it closer. When the dots are five in the cell and the other one is six, my friend, for you to be able to identify this one is the same or this different text type. That is practice. Give the child a lot of practice in being able to identify the differences in braille dots. You are not teaching them the, the, the dots as you have already been introduced. You continue with the dots. There are dots which are for D. I'm sure you might have learned about it. D and F, they look alike, but they are opposite. <laughs> if you cannot tell the difference between the two, you will keep confusing the two. You think D is F, you think F is D. The same with the J and the H. They are the opposite. They are different. Because the other dot is this side, another one is on that side. The signs are different. Charles should be able to tell these are different. Therefore, it is a different dot or a different uh, alphabet number. Alphabet. So you go from dots B and a C. B is written on another uh, symbol and the C is written in another. But they all have two dots in each of them. I and the E, the same. You do that exercise with the child. Upper dots and the lower dots. You tell the child where is the difference between these dots. They are all in the same size. But why are they? Why are, are others called upper and why are others lower? You will see the difference. And that some are the same. So then mix dot one, two, three, four four, five, and six. Mix them up so that the child should be able to tell this one is not the same as that. Do a lot of activities. This now you have brought the child to the level of being able to read braille. Once the pupil is able to differentiate the different positions of the dots in a cell, then the pupil is ready to begin reading braille. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, this is how simple braille becomes. Once you have prepared the child's hands, then it is easy for the child to begin to learn Braille with interest. Don't begin teaching Braille without teaching the pre-Braille skills, the methods. You must first teach the child. You are preparing the child's fingers to be able to read Braille. So ladies and gentlemen, this lesson is very interesting. It will take you a long time to be able to do these exercises so that the child masters which one is different from the other. You know, there are punctuation signs. There are mathematical signs. There are alphabets. Those differences are there. The child should be able to tell the differences. Once the child does that, when you begin to teach A, 
and B, the difference is there in dots. Therefore, the child will be ready to learn Braille. Do a lot of practice in trying to present these things on Braille paper. The child, don't just take a short time. Take a long time to do practice. Different dots in the cells on a paper, a whole page, the child should be able to read them. Not reading as such, but trying to see the differences from one to another. You have prepared the child to read the bread. We are now ready to go to the next lesson. Thank you for listening. Do a lot of practice.